Hey everyone, welcome back to Mod Life Season 2! Space Life. In last episode, I said we was gonna try sleeping in our bed on our space station, and I did not try that, but uh, we still got a little bit of time left. Let's see what happens, shall we? Is this going to do anything at all? Maybe? No. <laughs> Alright, so beds have no purpose on our space station, which is fine. But I uh, just wanted to do a little testing just to check and see. Alright, so also, before we get started today, there's one thing I want to get made for our applied energistics system. And that would be a wireless remote. So, what do we need for that? I'd like to be able to access our network from anywhere on the space station. Alright, so we need one of these guys. An ME wireless access terminal. Wireless receiver. Lux Pearl. You would require an Ender Pearl. I hate you. <laughs> Luckily enough, we have everything for that. Alright, we got the wireless receiver. We need the ME access terminal. Do we have everything? No, we're missing those other two. We need an ME cable and a conversion matrix. Good, we got that. Put the ME cable in the network. We're good to go on our access terminal. Good. Last but not least, we just need the energy cell. Uh, we are going to need the Fluix crystals, though, so we need four of you. Done. Gotcha. So now we have our energy cell, and last but not least, our wireless access terminal. Now, while we're making up the rest of this, we're going to go ahead and let this guy charge. Alright, which we need a wireless... Um, this thing? Wireless access point, that's right. So we're going to need another wireless receiver. Gosh, I hate these things. <laughs> we need four more Fluix crystals. Ah, uh, drat. Here, we're going to this one. It might be a little bit quicker. So we need four of these. And just for the sake of it, we're going to make up four Fluix Dust. And there we go. Fluix Pearl. Running very low on Ender Pearls right now. <laughs> I don't like that. Alright, we got that. We should have everything else for you. Emmy Wireless Access Point. Alright, now we just need the boosters. Um, these? Wireless boosters. There they are. Alright, Certus Quartz, Redstone, and Iron Ingots. And if I'm not mistaken, we only need 16 of these. So I'm just going to individually click these out. That way I don't make the mistake of making an entire stack of them again. <laughs> Alright, good. We got that taken care of. Let's grab the cables. And last but not least, all we got to do is uh, wire this up somehow. So how do I want to do this? So I was thinking about pulling this down under here. Hmm. Because I'm afraid we might not be able to access this over there. So what I might wind up doing is once we start working on our energy storage room, which I think we might do today, I'll be able to run this ME line down here to the main part of the space station so we can actually start running more ME cabling everywhere. Yeah, I think we'll put that there for now. Later on, once we find a better spot, which will probably be down there, we'll move it. But for now, that'll be a good temporary location, I think. Darn you. Gravity. <laughs> I don't know. I tell you what. When we go back to Earth and stuff, I really don't like all the gravity. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get used to again after so much time on the space station. But anyway, this guy should be charged up. Ready to go. So we should be able to access our network if we take it and place it right here. That'll link it up. And good, now we have access to our entire network. Nice and easy. Awesome. All right, so what we're going to do is probably make up some more tin decoration blocks. So I got plenty of compressed tin. 
We're going to need these. So this is what I'm going to be making my energy storage room out of. And I think we're going to make it right over here on this tunnel here. Right here in the middle. Probably between these two. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we'll put it right here. And how do I have that looking down there? Okay, good. So it practically comes out like this. And we'll just continue this outwards. Probably have to angle it back this way a bit more. So we'll have to be able to walk in here and have like all of our storage on this side of the room. Might even pull it out more that way so that way we can connect it. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and work on this because <laughs> these things are going to take me a little bit of trial and error. So um, yeah, we'll be back in just a minute. All right, guys, and we're back. So before I show you guys the room, uh, I got a comment last episode. Someone said we should try taking our tinker table and placing it in front of our chair in here. Thought that was kind of a cool idea. Kind of reminds me of the whole Star Wars Emperor kind of thing. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Alright, but I also need to go ahead and place down my chunk loader somewhere on the base. Uh, now this probably doesn't look too bad either, so I'm going to place that right there. Uh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I think I won't let that one grow on me a little bit. We'll just leave that there because I need it here anyway. Um, just in case I forget. But we do want this here. Uh, nonetheless. Now, this guy's working good. Corey's up and running. Let's go ahead and show you guys our room that we made. Uh, pretty basic. The thing that I was really working on the longest was the entrance here. Now, I didn't really know how I wanted... Wow, that does look kind of cool. <laughs> you can see the tinker table from here. That's... That's awesome. I like that. All right, well that works. <laughs> so serves a dual purpose then. All right, well, like I said, I was working on this the longest, the doorway here. Um, wasn't too sure how I wanted it to look. I tried to make it look somewhat like the door down there. Now, granted, we are gonna have a sealable door here as well. Um, I don't know if I wanna use draw bridges. I do wanna use the um, airlocks from Galactic Craft, but we don't have the meteoric iron yet, which we have to get from the moon. And we haven't started our forward base on the moon yet either, so... Anyway, uh, we need to start making some energy storage for in here. Now, what we're going to be making is, if you can guess, <laughs> I got some items made up for us already. We got some bronze item casings made, we got some copper cables, and back this way, we should have ourselves some pulverized lead. Yeah, there we go, a good stack of it too. Right, we got silver. Let's just go ahead and set this to actually. Whoops. Well, anyway, we needed to change it back. Anywho, uh, we'll let that cook the silver up for us. All right, so we got lead. We should also have back here some sulfur already. Yep, there we go. 14 sulfur. Probably gonna need some more though. But we got some gunpowder, so that should work. All right, let's make our way back to our control room, which we're not done with. We still have work to do in here. It's going to be pretty full and packed in here um, when we're done. I do want to go ahead and start installing this as well. This is the IO port. I think I might go ahead and put him right next to this guy, or maybe even right here. That looks kind of cool. We'll be using that before we uh, head to the moon as well. Uh, partition editor. We don't have to necessarily hook this guy up to anything at all. We don't have to. Well, I sh actually, I don't think we do. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we don't have to hook this guy up. We can put him anywhere we want. Um, hmm. No. See, I'm saving these walls for something else. I think I'm going to try and leave all of this to applied energistics, maybe something like that. Then I'm really not too sure exactly what it is. Maybe if we put it there. Hmm. Still got a little bit of work to do in here. <laughs> That's for sure. 
But it is coming along nicely. I really like this. That's awesome to me. I love that. That just really makes it feel more like a spaceship to me. Or not like a spaceship, but a space station. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to get that confused a lot. Anyway, we need to make a CESU. We're going to be making up a lot of these because I don't want to waste all of my diamonds making a couple MFEs. <laughs> um, it takes 16 diamonds, apparently, to make one MFE, and I don't want to go through that many diamonds. I have 96 diamonds currently, so... And two interpearls left. That's not good. So I can actually spare the resources to make a CESU or a bunch of these, and that's what we're going to do. So... Uh, bronze plating. We need that. We need a whole bunch of these. So, sulfur, lead dust. We should be able to make like 14 of those. Let's just put all that into the network. There we go. And how many of you can I make? Quite a bit. <laughs> Alright, let's put those all in there. Come on. There you go. Um... You know, let's hold off before we do any more of those. Alright, bronze. Uh oh. Bronze dust. I don't have any ingots left. We need to cook some of these guys up. Pronto. Alright. Redstone furnace, do your stuff. Alright, while we're waiting on that, I guess we could go ahead and head back here see if there's anything else we actually need to make it looks like just bronze plates probably gonna need more than that so let's put the silver away let's grab some tin copper actually I think we're gonna need copper more so, so let's grab some copper Oop. copper ore there we go and we're gonna place that in the pulverizer I turn that off that way it turns into dust force because we're gonna need Pulverized copper, we're going to need tin, and we're going to be making some uh, bronze dust, which is like this. There we go. So I'm going to need some more copper. And that'll slowly make its way, that'll slowly cook as well, so we're going to let that do its stuff real quick, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, and we're back, so I still got some more bronze cooking up for us. Uh, this should be enough to get us started at least. Let's go ahead and see what we need to do. I think we're going to need to make another hammer though. Check our bag just to make sure we don't... Ooh, darn you, sword. <laughs> I promise you, I think I might go ahead and make a new sword very soon. Just for the sake of getting rid of that... Whatever that is. That uh, jump bag. I don't like that. Anyway... <laughs> We need to make a hammer. So, let's see. I think... Actually, I think I should have everything. I should have sticks and stuff in the network already. Yeah, there we go. We'll make up a couple of these. Packed three should be fine. And let's just go ahead and finish off that stack. We'll finish off you. Yep, yep. There we go. Alright, so we have our bronze plates. We should have plenty of batteries. Let's make up some CESUs. Alright... Bronze plates, put those in there. Good. Alright, so there's six CESUs. And pretty much we just need some more batteries. So how many of these can we make? Three more, so that makes one more CESU. There we go. Now, what exactly are we missing for this again? We're missing sulfur. Okay. That's not bad. We can make that. We just need some gunpowder, which we have. We'll make... Hmm, maybe another 16 or so. Let's do... Let's do 18. I know that says 17, but you have to understand, I have one more battery in my network already. Um, yeah, that should be good to keep that even. My math could be wrong. It's been known to happen. Um, do I have an extractor? Not in there. What about here? No. So I'm pretty sure my extractor would be down in that chest here. So let's pick that up real quick. In fact, I think if we get this room set up for us today... Yep, there's my extractor. In fact, I'm going to need that and that. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is try to see about getting a large portion of our... 
Space station here. Oxygen sealed. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to seal this part off because we're not going to be getting out here just yet. Let's just do something like that for now. Let's grab hardened glass and we'll just close this off. All right, there we go. That should be sealed for now. And I think before we start, I'll probably just go ahead and seal this all off too. I don't know if we're going to get to it today. I'm going to try because I would like to get a space station oxygen sealed. Eventually these, uh, well at least, we'll probably have a door here at some point. Um, I imagine we should have enough sealing power to seal up this area here from there. We'll probably have to close that off too. Hmm. Yeah, but we should have enough to do this corridor here, this main area here that we come in on, this corridor, and back here, hopefully with two oxygen sealers. We'll see. We're going to try. See what happens. Oh, wait, hold on. Ah, there we go. We got some more bronze. We got some pulverized gold. We'll get cooking up for us. And 23 over here too. Good, 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 good. We got extra bronze floating around for us. All right, CESU. Let's continue making these batteries, and we'll get our extractor ready to go. I think we need to hook this out and around somehow. We're just gonna kind of rig this up real quick. Alright, so I got some sulfur dust for us, got our extractor kind of just rigged up for the moment. <laughs> um, gonna leave it set up just like that, just in case I do want to make up some more sulfur. Um, we'll probably uh, rework that entire area right there a little bit later on, but for now, I will leave it there. Alright, so let's put the sulfur dust back in there. Let's go ahead and get our other CESUs made up. There we go, let's get these guys put together. Oh, we're missing more bronze item casings. All right, no problem. I'll get that fixed up real quick. We just need some bronze ingots. Our hammer. And we'll hammer out some bronze item casings. No problem. There we go. Should be able to make up the rest of these. Awesome, there we go. Alright, so we're still running a little low on bronze item casings. How many of those do we actually have? But, hmm, 12. 12, when we need one more advanced RE battery. Alright, we can do that. That's fine. Put the rest of the bronze in there. Make these item casings. I guess we had some bronze plates in there already. There we go. Oh, yep, there we go. There was the last piece of sulfur, so now we can have our last CESU. Nice. So now we have 14 CESUs. This should be fun. All right, I'm actually going to go ahead and pick this up. And we'll pick you up. Thank you for your time and your service. Much appreciated. There we go. Yeah, I tried hooking it in right here, but for some reason it didn't want to work. I think the power might have been looping there, so I might have to do something about that and maybe remove one of these blocks here to here, something like that. I'm not sure. Probably the one there in the center. And I did make up more heavy aluminum wire because we're probably going to be using that with some tin decoration blocks. But first, let's put, uh, hmm. put that away, put that away. Yeah, that should work. All right, so let's go hook up these CESUs. All right, so I want to hook this up like one giant battery in a sense. So we're going to just line these guys up like this. And I think I might do that. And continue it along this way. There we go. Might even pull that one up. That one we could put that one there. Cool. <laughs> this might be a little crazy, but this is going to be kind of fun, I think, too. Alright, so all of you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be taking this guy. And all of you. Pleasure CESU. 
I apologize. Now, what else? We got that one over there, plus that solar panel there. Gonna have to leave those for now, I think. Might, might have to wind up making another advanced solar panel. We'll see. We'll see how far this one takes us. Now, what I'm hoping is, up here, we're gonna be putting our solar panels. So I'm probably gonna try and face most of them like this, I think. Let's go ahead and enable that. Ooh, better hurry. And we're gonna want some sealable wire. Let's grab our network. Let's grab this one. There we go, and we'll place you there. Place that down there. And we should be able to connect this down here, like so. Is this gonna go boom? Oh. Eh, still could explode. Nope. Wait, why is that not inputting? Sun is not visible. Hmm. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. All right, that should be the output right there. That should be the input. Hmm. Actually, I think I did that backwards. Cause I kind of made it to where this needs to be the input, right? Cause this is going that way. So this needs to be the first power source. Or I need to completely rewire it and make it all go backwards. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make it go the opposite way. So I'll probably have it go this way like this. Or maybe even like that. So the power will come in down this way and it'll make its way through the CESUs and out this way because I want it to come this way so that we can wire our oxygen sealers in the side of the base, which I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to today, but we're gonna keep trying. So, all right, we'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright, so we got our CESUs hooked up. It's coming in from this top corner here, going all the way around down to this row, and then down to the final row here, coming out this way. Now, my plan is we're going to try to have this all hooked up along the edges here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to probably do it all on this side of the space station. I think that'll be fine. I don't see a need to have to actually run it on this side either. We do need to run some power down this way though to get all these guys hooked up, which I don't think should be too much of a problem, so we will have to make our way over to this side. But I think we should be able to start trying to see what we need to get our area here sealed up with some oxygen. So let's go get started and make a few of those machines up real quick. Now, oh wow, that's already filled. Nice. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, this one's filled. All right, so this one's filled, and then it's going to continue filling the rest of these. Now, I do want to make another solar panel to get this all filled up probably here. I'm thinking maybe four. So maybe another three more solar panels. One there, 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 and they'll all be hooked up into that corner there. And I'm hoping that might be enough to keep the base sealed at all times with oxygen. I'm hoping. We'll see. Not sure yet. And we'd still want to get this area sealed off with oxygen too. Now, that might be a problem. Having this door, I don't know if that's going to seal this and that or just one or the other. We'll have to do some testing like I said. So, Alright, let's get these things made up. We're going to need an Oxygen sealer. Where's that at? So, oxygen sealer, we got that. And I'm probably going to have to make an area for our oxygen compressor. No, nope. Collector. Where's that at? I missed you right there. Oxygen collector. So, I'm thinking I can make one good area for an oxygen collector, hopefully, to supply enough for two sealers. So, I'm going to get these machines made up real quick. And we'll go start placing them down. Oh, wait, hold on. We already got one collector. <laughs> Halfway there already. So I just need some sealers. 
So actually, yeah, we'll just do that then real quick. Uh oh, maybe not. <laughs> I need one of them uh, fancy wafers. Basic wafers. We need a diamond, redstone torch. Okay, let me go get this made up. I went ahead and hooked up our Galactic Craft machines up because, uh, of course, we needed our circuit fabricator. So we got our line here. Aluminum heavy wire, which I might change out later on for the small one because um, it was working fine over here, but it connects up just fine, it looks like. So, yeah, went ahead and did that. We got our basic wafers being made up. Ooh. That's fine, we'll have extras. <laughs> They're used in many things anyway, and I can afford a couple diamonds, that's no problem. We have plenty of raw silicon, so no issues here. Let's go ahead and make our way back to our crafting area. Or actually, our control room. These uh, CESUs are looking good, too. Nice. Slowly filling up. And we'll put our basic wafer there. Good. Got a fan. I think we're going to need two of those. So, oxygen sealer, where are you? Alright, so we got two of those. We need four of you oxygen vents. There we go. Put all that in the network, and we should be able to make this up now. Two oxygen sealers. Cool. All right, one oxygen collector. Let's grab some oxygen pipes. We're probably going to need our fair share of those. And let's grab some leaves. Yeah, that'll work. All right, now we got to find a place to hook the um, oxygen up at. Because it's going to have to be hooked up to the power. I'm thinking maybe in this area here, like down underneath. Is my jetpack good? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's make a small area down this way. Yeah, in fact, actually, I think this is a perfect area. Make a little platform right down here. I don't know if I have any more. Yeah, I don't have any more tin decoration blocks made up, but this will be fine for now, I think. And I'll probably wind up closing this door off for now. But let's go ahead and get the oxygen collector set up. So we want this guy like this. All right, good. So he's got power. Nice. And the output will come here. And I think we'll go ahead and have the first one, the first oxygen sealer set up right there. So let's put... Oh, wait. No, you weren't supposed to go up there. Right here. Why aren't you working? Come on. There we go. Alright, good. So we're connected up there. And we just want to place a whole bunch of leaves around in this area. Probably going to need... Actually, I really don't even know. Until it starts actually collecting oxygen, I guess. Alright, so there's 20, so I'm probably going to need a bigger area for this. Hmm. Alright, we'll set up the um, first oxygen sealer. Is that going to work there? Output vent is blocked. Can I flip you around at all? Oh, where's the front of this thing? Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Right. Because this right here is the vent. I gotcha. Hmm. Alright, so what we're going to have to do then is probably hook these guys up underneath down here. So I'm thinking maybe putting one down this way. Maybe like right here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And I'll put one right down here. Alright, so we're going to finish hooking this up next episode, and we'll probably set up a nice leaf area for this for our oxygen collector, because 
that's not going to do it, so I'm going to have to find a nice area for that. But I think that's going to about do it for today. We still got a lot done. We got ourselves our wireless set up. We got a whole bunch of energy. <laughs> we got all these ZESUs made up. And, in fact, we're on our fourth one here already, too. All right, let me actually disconnect you because I don't need you constantly collecting power. Good. All right, so we'll probably also next episode make up one more solar panel and see how that works out for us. But that's it for today. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying space life. And if you are, please rate the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, until next time, we'll see you guys then. A goodbye.